you slaves always request for dua you slaves always request for dua please fulfill the wish of every helpless ya allah please fulfill the wish of every helpless ya allah الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وصحابك يا نور الله Welcome back to our program spiritual cures alhamdulillah azawajal in this program we have the wazaif for yourself as well and also if you wish to have istikhara done then we have brothers behind the scene that will inshallah azawajal do the istikhara for you as well so if you know that anyone is suffering you know they're suffering from any financial problems uh, any uh, family issues any parental issues disobedient children this is what the program is about we try to help our community inshallah azawajal and it's a community program and we do want the community to be part of the program we're not promising anything we're not promising that we're going to make everything better for you but there is a lot of ta'seer and barakat in the kalam of allah azawajal and this is what we do we give you the quran e pak wazaif from the pious predecessors and inshallah azawajal so that we can uh, help one another and that is the beautiful deen of islam that we all try to help one another as uh, alhamdulillah azza wa jal and i want to take the first messages as well assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh i know of someone uh, in pakistan that have lost a son uh, please is there anything that we can be doing to help them as they are very very upset allah taala forbid i can't even imagine someone going through a pain where their loved one has been missing for many days may allah taala make it easier for them and may allah azza wa jal give them a good happy ending as well for the person who is a missing person write ya haqqu on the four corners of a large paper so basically like an a4 paper write ya haqqu on the right top ya on the left right bottom and on the left as well make dua in the midnight placing it on both of your hands while standing under an open sky inshallah the missing person will return soon or you will get good news about him and uh, inshallah we will make dua at the end that allah taala uh, gives you a happy ending you make you you find that son whoever your cousin is this is what the beauty of madni channel and the beauty of this program is we try to share each other's um, feelings and problems as well and this is what the ummah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is about sharing each other's feeling ko kusane dukh dard bandna hai na daawat e islami alhamdulillah this is what we trying to do so even if you see someone koshish karo lokani madad karo go to people help them ask them around go around your family members today sadly uh, we don't have time to even go around our family and friends yeah mom and dad have been waiting for me for days we don't even have time to go to them uncles and nieces and nephews and brothers and sisters wo to khata hi khatam hona ja raha hai what we need to do is please take some time go to them and visit them maybe they they need your help it's not always that, you know if i go to them they're going to be asking me about money i need some paise mangne so jao to sahi na inshallah azza wa jalla try to help them as well and also there is another wazifa that anyone can recite from the family Uh, perform two rak'at nafl daily for 40 days and after every two rak'at recite ya hayyu ya qayyum 119 times now this is not for a person who's been lost this is a person who's run away from home allah taala forbid you know we do live in uh, in a time where you know children because you know maybe you know it might be the child it might be the husband it might be the wife it might be anyone and they run away from home Uh, allah taala keep them safe ya rabbi musa ya rabbi kalim bismillahir rahmanir rahim let me mention it again ya rabbi musa ya rabbi kalim 
بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کون سمو یا ربی موسا یا ربی کلیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم so that is what the wazifa is uh, during this recites uh, durood upon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam a few times before and after inshallah you will find your missing items even others needs will be also fulfilled assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh please don't mention my name on air code word is moon i want to marry second time but every time engagement breaks can you do istikhara please inshallah azza wa jalla uh, we'll get the istikhara done for that as well assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh please my mother is suffering with no blood flowing to her feet any wazifa please also my grandsons refuse to eat anything the whole day he is 2 years any wazifa okay inshallah azza wa jalla we are uh, traveling uh, abroad we are very scared as to what happen what will happen during our travel will we be able to come back uh, come back in 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 safe and sound okay inshallah again have the trust in allah have the trust in allah azza wa jalla allah taala will make it easier for you you know don't assume things don't be scared obviously when we trust in allah allah taala ni bargah jala sa Uh, trust karne hai na have the trust in allah azza wa jalla uh, that is a very beautiful wazifa uh, that i will give you that because uh, obviously i do a lot of traveling myself and uh, inshallah this could benefit me as well inshallah azza wa jalla recite la ilaha illa allah 11 times before embarking on the journey inshallah you will attain easiness in your travel is there anything that we could read to protect our home uh, from people breaking in okay maybe someone uh, has had a break in recently uh, and again it's very common because uh, people are you know desperate as well and most likely you know the the pro- the people who are desperate for work hardly they ever do that it's the drug dealers and these uh, you know criminals that will do this kind of stuff so if possible try to secure your home try to recite ayatul kursi allahu la ilaha illa huwal hayyul qayyum try to recite ayatul kursi when you are at home and then leave the house and leave it in the trust of allah allah taala will inshallah as will protect your house as well the recite ya jalilu 10 times and then blow on your wealth your luggage your goods your money etc inshallah azza wa jal they will be protected from theft assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh i just would like to give you some feedback uh on some of the things that you have been doing uh, on madani channel mashallah azul especially spiritual cures uh, we have uh, acted upon what you have said and my son was ill and allah taala has given him shifa uh, we tried many medicines we tried many hospitals but they would not find they could not find anything wrong with him uh, now alhamdulillah my son is better by taking the wazaif and the ta'wizat that you gave him alhamdulillah mashallah so again good feedback it improves us as well and improves the listeners as well remember no one can give you shifa but allah yeah that is our main aqida that allah taala is the one who gives shifa even if i do dumb on someone it's not because of my dumb it's because of the kalamullah that i am reading yeah and alhamdulillah as muslims we do believe that You know there is a, the Quran also says that the Quran is a source of shifa surah fatiha I've mentioned it a few times one of the names of surah fatiha is surah shifa so anyone especially with stomach problems stomach aches wagaira you know try to recite surah fatiha seven times before and after durood as well you can add that and then just blow on the person do dum on water blow on it and drink inshallah there will be shifa as well assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh i can remember someone asking for a wazifa for to sell his car is there anything that you can give me as well i wish to sell my car but i cannot sell it is been parked up and i've had no people looking at it or even contacting me please i need to get rid of this car because i need the money Allah Taala make it easier for you. Uh, we had Khalid Bay 
And uh, when someone said, uh, what's the easiest and fastest way to sell the car? And he goes, uh, reduce the price. <laughs> so uh, reduce the price. Obviously, you know, if you, uh, if you think that the car is valued at about a thousand pounds, just giving you an, uh, an example, you're not going to sell it for 500, are you? You know, don't be selling it for that price. I'll give you a wazifa. There is a very beautiful wazifa. It's a verse of the Quran. Uh, para number 13, Surah Yusuf, verse number 80. And the verse is, فَلَمَّا اسْتَيْأَسُوا مِنْهُ خَلَصُوا نَجِيَّا قَالَ كَبِيرُهُمْ أَلَمْ تَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ أَبَاكُمْ قَدْ أَخَذَ عَلَيْكُمْ مَوْثِقًا مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَمِنْ قَبْلُ مَا فَرَّتُمْ فِي يُوسُفِ فَلَنْ أَبْرَحَ الْأَرْضَ حَتَّى يَأْذَنَ لِي أَبِي أَوْ يَحْكُمَ اللَّهُ لِي وَهُوَ خَيْرُ الْحَاكِمِينَ Recite the following blessed verse and blow onto your goods or your car. Inshallah, your goods will be sold very soon. Someone sent uh, a message uh, as well. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I don't want to mention the name. But it says, please can you do me istikhara for me? I can't get a job. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I have done partnership with my son's friend. We would like to purchase this business. Maybe successful for us. Okay, inshallah. If you keep reciting Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim at the time of purchasing anything, inshallah, you will get a good item and that too according to your wish. So again, if you are, I think you said you're in the process of buying that business, then read Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim at the time of purchasing. So at the time of purchasing that, keep reading that, inshallah, you'll get a good item. And the item means it could be anything. It doesn't have to be one little item. It could be building, something like that, a house. Inshallah, you'll get barakat from that as well. Inshallah, Azza wa Jal. And today we're going to be uh, talking about the wazifa, about pain in the body parts. Now, like I said before, a lot of people have this problem. It's not only the old, elder people, it's also our youngsters as well who are having this problem. You know, joint pain, muscle pain, wagara. So if you, if you are suffering with this kind of a disease where you got pains, and I think it's called um, arthritis. Yeah, so if you are suffering with arthritis or if you are suffering with any types of body pain, then please read this wazifa. It's a beautiful wazifa. It's a verse of the Quran. And the wazifa is uh, from para number 28, Suratul Hashr, verse number 21. After Salah, recite this ayah seven times and perform dham on both hands. Then rub the hands on the area of pain, the pain will recede. So for example, if you've got pain in your elbows, yeah, you're getting pain in the elbows. So what you need to do is recite this verse. And the verse is, لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون. So this is the verse of the Quran. Read this verse, blow on your hands, and then just massage over the place. For example, in this instance, the elbow, inshallah, azawajal, Allah ta'ala, will give you shifa. Jazakallahu khaira. So it's a, it's, it was a wazifa that I think uh, a lot of people are suffering uh, from this body pains. And like I said, it's not even uh, adults we're worried about. Allah, we're worried about the children. They're having the same problems as well. So please uh, recite this wazifa. Inshallah, Azza wa Jal, Allah Ta'ala will give you Shifai Kamila as well. And also remember one thing. Now, you know, sometimes, you know, you get this pain only in the, in the winter because you might have a knock, you know, on the bone or you might have broken your bone or it could be anything. You might have a fall or a trip and, you know, you've damaged your, your, your ligaments or something. Now, if that is the case, then please try to wrap up something and keep this area warmed up. And you know, even if, if it's your, your knees, then you can get these uh, kneecaps, yeah? And they will keep the kneecaps warm. So we need to protect ourselves and we need to protect our other family members as well. Another important thing is when you recite the wazifa, you have to read it with the proper tajweed. Now, if you don't know how to read with tajweed, 
then get someone else to read the wazifa for you and then massage over your body. Obviously, you know, it has to be a mahram or But uh, again, you know, if we can't read the wazifa because I can't read the Quran with tajweed, you know, fir ni koshish na kara. Yeah. Shall we not try to learn the Quran? So please try to learn the Quran. Now, can you imagine that we can't even help ourselves? Never mind helping other people. Never mind helping my neighbors or my brothers and sisters. I can't even help myself. Why? Because I can't even read the Quran properly. So inshallah, niyat karo na sare. Eh? Sare jere kaar baithe ve niyat karo inshallah. The Quran sikhsa. May Allah Ta'ala give shifa to all of those who are ill at this moment in time. جی السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ پلیز ڈو مینشن مائی نیم کور نیم از پیشنس مائی نیم از ہاون ہیڈ کڈز نیلی مارڈ فار ٹین ایئرز ہیڈ ٹو مس کاریجز آئی وانٹ استخارہ ڈن ہاف آئی گوٹ سم کائنڈ آف جادو ڈن آن می ول آئی بی بلیسڈ ود کڈز ان شاء اللہ اللہ تعالیٰ بلیس یو ود ابیڈینٹ چلڈرن ان شاء اللہ وداؤٹ اینی problems inshallah azza will do the istikhara and then i can come back to you as well inshallah azza wa jal assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh please can i have a wazifa uh, for a court case um, i used to watch your channel uh, before and i have i remember you giving some wazifa to someone i have a court case Uh, please make dua for me as well. Please uh, help me. Inshallah. So then Allah Ta'ala uh, make it easier for you. Allah Ta'ala uh, make things easier for yourself and your family. Obviously, when these kind of things happen and, you know, you are innocent. We, we, we don't say that, you know, there's so many cases, you know, high profile cases where innocent people were locked up for 40 years, 20 years. That is a lot of years, Allah, you know. And, you know, it's again, you know, uh, injustice, yeah, miscarriage of justice, as they say. But uh, inshallah, Azawajal, may Allah Ta'ala protect you from this miscarriage and may Allah Azawajal uh, give you barakat and your family, as, as, especially I know, will be going through a very, very hard time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Please, can you give me something to read? I am very, very stressed, uh, money problems, health issues, and then on top of that, I have children that are disobedient. They are uh, in their teens and I am fed up with them. Please, can you give me something before I do the worst? Allah Ta'ala make it easier for you. But the last sentence, I think you need to really calm down because, you know, I'll, I'll, before you do the worst, what are you going to do? Bang your head against the wall? No, don't do it. Even that is not jais as well. But, you know, if your intention was that Ma'azallah, you're going to be committing suicide. Islam totally forbids suicide. If this is the mother that is going through all them problems, what are, what are the children doing? They're in their teens. They're not children anymore. They need to understand, you know. And, you know, if you've got this problem, you know, can you imagine living in a house where there's money issues, there's children, you know, money, you can still kind of, you know, get along with things. But if you've got dis disruptive and disobedient children, and that is a, you know, they say that this is it's a dagger in the back that, May Allah Ta'ala make it easier for you. May Allah Azawajal make things very easier for you. You're going to make dua at the end as well, inshallah Azawajal. But please remember that uh, taking your own life is not the solution for the problems. It's the start of another you know, series of problems because uh, in the, 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 the scholars, they mention that anyone who commits suicide with whatever object they, they commit suicide, they will keep on causing problems and pain to themselves even after they die. So if someone stabs himself and kills himself and then what will happen is he'll keep on stabbing himself and the pain will be the same if the pain will be the same he'll keep on stabbing himself until the day of judgment allah ta'ala forbid i don't think any muslim should ever be looking at that time so it's an opportunity for us to help one another as muslims alhamdulillah Islam means total submission in the will of Allah. So we all submit ourselves to Allah Azza wa Jal. Islam is a religion of peace, alhamdulillah, harmony. You know, we all live in a, in, especially in the UK, it's a multi-dimensional, multicultural society. It's the same thing in the Medina as well. You know, our Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam lived in a multicultural society. There were non-Muslims, there were Christians, Jews, fire worshippers, idol worshippers. They all used to be living in Medina-i-Pak. But 
our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There are so many instances where he helped them people. Why? Because many of them would then accept Islam. And if you look at the lives of the Sahaba Ikram alaihi muridwan, why did these people come into Islam? Because of the great character of the Sahaba Ikram and especially our beloved Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So it's a it's a beautiful thing that we should be as Muslims trying to uh, promote uh, Islam as well. And if you see anyone who is ill, anyone in problem, try to help them out as well, inshallah. We had an istikhara request uh, where the Islamic brother sent us a message. Uh, he can't get a good job. Uh, istikhara has been done. Uh, the code word I think he used was attari. So the attari code word, he said that he can't get a good job. Uh, it's, uh, the istikhara has come back as, as maish. It's a test from Allah Ta'ala. Inshallah, we'll make dua that Allah Ta'ala gives you a good job. But remember, what is a good job? A good job is not where you get paid more. A good job is where you'll get time to offer your salah. You know, a right, rightly minded person will always think that a good job is not just about money. A good job is where you can also offer your salah, you can practice your deen freely. And then even though you might get paid a bit less, but alhamdulillah, at least you can act upon the deen as well. Another uh, istihara request was given. Uh, the code word was moon. And it was regarding uh, someone who wanted to get married. Uh, the istihara has come back and he has come back as azmaish. So there's no black magic. There's no evil eye. It's a matter of azmaish. Inshallah, uh, the was carry on reciting uh, the wazifa. Inshallah, Allah Ta'ala will make it easier for you. There's a very beautiful wazifa and this could be read uh, in um, any types of uh, situations. Wazifa is Ya Salamu 111 times. If you keep on reading Ya Salamu, Ya Salamu, before and after Durood Pak, read it for 111 times. Inshallah, Allah Ta'ala will make things easier for you. Inshallah, Azzawajal. Uh, we also had another istikhara request. Code word was Ya Allah. Uh, it's an istikhara. Uh, someone wanted an istikhara done for their brother. The istikhara has come back as clear. Uh, you maybe I think you know your brother says 38 is not too old. You know, Hazrat uh, Khadija radiAllahu taala anha. She married the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I think she was 40 years old. And many other people they do get married at that age. It doesn't matter. You know, so uh, you buy, what you need to do is try to convince your brother or take the Imam Sahib of the Masjid or any people, get them involved and you have a word with them. There's no, nothing, no recovered, nothing, uh, you know, no hindrance there. So inshallah, so just convince your brother to get married. Allah Ta'ala will make it easier for him as well, inshallah. So Gee, we had an istikhara request from an Islamic brother. Uh, we've got the court case. And he says that he was innocent. Allah Ta'ala grant him uh, victory and success. Whoever has been trapped in an uh, unfair court case, uh, on the day of your date of hearing, for example, the day that you are going to the court, maybe it's going to be like a, a few weeks court case that is going to be pending, you know, arguing in the, in the court case. Then what you need to do is on the day that the hearing begins, you need to read, Ya Dhal Jalali. Wal ikram, ya dal jalali wal ikram. Read this 654 times, inshallah, azawajal. Uh, before you go to court, read it 654 times. On that day of the court, inshallah, azawajal, it will be in your benefit, inshallah, azawajal. It will be in your favor, the court case. May Allah Ta'ala make it easier for you. Uh, alhamdulillah. May Allah give you success. Also, we had an istikhara request from code name is patience regarding uh, children. May Allah Ta'ala give you pious children as well. That is, uh, the, the istikhara has been done and it's come back as clear. So there's no magic, no evil eye or anything, you know, amal wagara, nothing like that. It's just a test from Allah Azza wa Jal. Uh, I want you to recite this wazifa. Ya awwalu. Ya awwalu, ya awwalu, recited 41 times. Uh, the reciting person will have children, inshallah azawajal. Recitation period is 40 days. So recite 
Ya Awwalu Summi is recite Durood Pak before and after and then keep reciting Ya Awwalu, Ya Awwalu, Ya Awwalu, Ya Awwalu recite it 41, not 39 times, not 40 times, not 42 times yeah, these wazaif you need to read them according to the, 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 the amount that has been specified so here is 41 times, again make dua uh, inshallah Azawajal Allah Ta'ala give you pious children and then don't always ask for children only ask for obedient children yeah we don't want children that grow up and like you said we've had so many messages throughout this program where people are just fed up with their children we were, we're not going to be asking for them type of children yeah what you need to do is you need to make sure that you ask for pious children and also inshallah azawajal children that will be obedient to allah azawajal and alhamdulillah azawajal there's a very beautiful booklet uh, written by amir al sunnat uh, it is called uh, aqeeqe ke bare mein sawal jawab questions regarding aqeeqa and that has mashallah a lot of beautiful madani pearls regarding children so please if you can read that book as well inshallah you you know what do what do you name your child yeah here inshallah we all make dua Allah gives you pious children, what do you name them? Yeah, if sometimes we get a book, we go on, on Google and we try to look for a name. You know, and the name that comes back, now it's Sirat and now Pair. You know, and what happens is, you know, uh, a lot of people, they, care, they watch Ma'azallah movies and all these kind of stuff. And what they expect, you know, they, they keep these names and they, they're not even Islamic. So try to avoid that. Uh, and inshallah, the best names that you can have, I'll give you, there are 26 names in the Quran. Ji, these are the names of the prophets of Allah. Twenty-six names in the Quran, and many other names as well. Mashallah, you have Luqman, which is the in the Quran. Uh, you will also have Zaid, which is in the Quran, and many other beautiful names as well. The books of a Hadith, the Sahaba Ikram, the Oliya Ikram. Someone asked for a wazifa uh, for their mother that blood does not go to her feet. Allah Taala. Give her shifai kamila as well, inshallah azza wa jal. In the state of wuzu or not, keep re reciting ya salamu. While sitting, standing and walking, you will remain safe from every type of disease and difficulty, inshallah. Recite ya salamu 33 times. Uh, blow on water and make every kind of patient drink it. Blow on him or her as well. So mashallah azza wa jal. Ya Salamu is a very, very powerful wazifa. Alhamdulillah, it's the name of Allah, so it's got to be powerful. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, so it's a Ya Salamu, the name of Allah Azza wa Jal. Keep reading that 33 times, blow on water, and then drink that water. Allah Ta'ala give them shifa. Or oh, keep reading Ya Salamu, Ya Salamu, Ya Salamu. Inshallah, Azza wa Jal, you will see the barakat and the blessings of the name of Allah Azza wa Jal. Inshallah, Azza wa Jal. There's another wazifa that I will give you. Uh, someone asked me this last while, last time and they said that um, one of their friends wanted a wazifa. They've got a daughter, they want a son. And there's nothing wrong in asking for a son. There is a very beautiful wazifa, Ya Bari'u. Ya Bari'u. Whoever decides this ten times every Friday will be blessed with a son. Ya Bari'u. Ya Bari'u. Before and after the Rude Park as well. So if someone is longing for a son, Ya Bari'u, Allah will inshallah give you a son as well. Zakariya alayhi salatu was salam was longing for a son. And he used to make dua in the court of Allah Azza wa Jal. And a very famous story when he went into the chambers of Sayyida Maryam radiallahu ta'ala anha, the mother of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salatu was salam. And he saw uh, non-seasonal fruit in that room. And he says that, oh Maryam, where did you get this fruit from? You know, it's out of season and she goes that Allah Ta'ala gave me them. So he thought to himself that if Allah can give non-seasonal fruit to Maryam, I'm 80, 85 years old, Allah can give me a son as well. You know, even though I've passed my age now. I'm this. So he made a dua and Allah Ta'ala blessed him with a baby boy. And Alhamdulillah, he was a prophet as well. Allah Ta'ala mentions the name of the child as well, Yahya. Yahya alayhi salatu was salam also was a prophet of Allah and he was the son of Sayyiduna Zakariya ala Nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu was salam. So it's always uh, good to ask for a son, ask for a daughter, but don't just ask for a son or a daughter. Make sure that you ask for pious children, obedient children. And then when Allah Ta'ala gives you 
pious and obedient children, make sure you do that tarbiyat, their upbringing according to the teachings of Islam, because that is what the most important thing is, that we need to bring up our children according to the teachings of Islam. Someone asked for a wazifa regarding a job as well. If you recite Ya Wahhabu 300 times uh, after Salatul Fajr, inshallah, Allah Ta'ala will remove the worry of risk sustenance from you. So what do we read? Ya Wahhabu 300 times, inshallah, Azawajal, Allah Ta'ala will give you risk, inshallah. Yani Allah Ta'ala will remove that worry of risk from you, inshallah. Uh, may Allah Ta'ala uh, give us the blessing and the barakat. Anyone who is suffering with that, you can recite this wazifa. Send it on to your family and friends as well and keep reading these wazif. You know, sometimes uh, we don't read this wazif. I was talking to someone the other day and they said, oh, I don't believe in him. Why not? If I mention the name of Allah, Ya Wahhabu, three times and I say, Ya Allah, give me risk, what is wrong with that? And if I read Ya Salamu, Ya Salamu, 111 times, what is wrong with that? Nothing. Allah na na. You know, Alhamdulillah, these are the Buzurgani deen that have uh, been uh, uh, given us these wazaif. But anyway, inshallah, that's their choice. If they don't want to read, they don't believe, that's their bad luck, I will say. Inshallah, we are at Sunni. We will keep reading these wazaif that our Buzurgani deen have given us. And inshallah, with the blessings, inshallah, we'll get barakat as well. We are in the last few minutes, so let's make dua, inshallah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al-Anbiya wa al-Mutsaleen. Jazallahu inna Sayyidana wa Mawlana Muhammadan. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam ma huwa ahlu. Allahumma rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adhab al-Nar. Wa qina adhab al-Qabr. Wa qina adhab al-Hashr. Wa qina hisab al-Mizan. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal grant shifa to all of those who have been suffering with any kinds of diseases. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal life threatening diseases. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal life changing diseases. Ya Allah keep us all protected from all these kind of diseases. Allahumma aafini fi badani. Allahumma aafini fi sam'i. Allahumma aafini fi basari. La ilaha illa anta. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal protect us from the disease of disobedience. Protect us from the disease of not offering salah. Protect us from the disease of not reading the Quran. Protect us from the disease of lying, swearing, backbiting, telling tales. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, protect us from the disease of watching video films. Protect us from the disease of looking at haram, seeing haram, we're talking about haram. Ya Allah, make us good Muslims. Obedient Muslims, make us all obedient in your court, make our children obedient in your court as well. And Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, those who are getting ready to go to Umrah, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, grant them a very easy journey. Grant them your happiness and grant them, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, your, your happiness and Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, help them and guide them. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, those who are searching the true path, Ya Allah, guide them towards Islam. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, those who are against Islam, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, help them to understand the beauty of Islam and guide them into the true deen of Islam. Ameen. Bijahin Nabiya Lameen. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Rahmatika ya rahman rahimeen. May Allah Ta'ala protect us all. I'll see you next time. Same place, same program. Inshallah. Keep watching Madani Channel. Sallu ala al-Habib. Sallallahu ala Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You slaves always request for dua. You slaves always request for dua. Please fulfill the wish of every helpless, Ya Allah. Please fulfill the wish of every helpless, Ya Allah.